This is Fini TV, the miseducation of wine media. My name is Arto, the fellow over here is Ilka, and summer is already gone. Ilka spent his summer uh, roaming all over southern Europe like a horde of barbarians. <laughs> Myself, on the other hand, I spent it on sitting on a couch, uh, trying to recover from my severe PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I should have never gone to Afghanistan. The wine scene, well in, Googled. <laughs> the wine scene in Kabul sucks. But anyway, before we start to taste some wine, maybe you'd like to share your highlights from the trip. The funny thing is that you said that I was in Southern Europe touring for two months, but you actually look more Southern European at the moment than I do. Anyways, no, the trip was great. I'm in Chigolo. Chigolo. The trip was great uh, from Milan to Lisbon. Uh, it's a long way to go. Many countries, uh, many wine regions. Four countries, many wine regions. Got to taste some great wines. I met some good wine people all over. Uh, maybe one highlight that I could say that was definitely one to remember was uh, was this village or town festival in uh, Vitoria in northern Spain and I thought it was like a normal kind of this uh, folkloric festival you know some old school music and some dancing and you know the normal stuff but it was like this huge festival like 40 to 50 thousand people rammed up in a small square and don't ask me what, what they were celebrating, I still have no idea. But it, it was, was a good party. It was a good party. I mean, it was a mix between uh, New Year's Eve, uh, Finnish Bappu, and the Finnish winning the uh, ice hockey championship. So it was really, really... Fun. Sounds promising. I'm sure you were not tipsy at all. No, I was drunk. Basically, flat out. Which is a good bridge to continue to tasting some wine. Uh, a nice person from uh, Spain uh, contacted us and uh, said that he likes our show and uh, wanted to send us a sample. Uh, we usually never get samples, we just get free verbal abuse, so <laughs> thank you for this and uh, I think we will continue bashing this one just to show our gratitude. But the funny thing is that uh, during my trip a lot of people from wineries asked why don't you accept uh, wine samples? What the fuck? <laughs> and I said, yeah. you silly sod, of course we <laughs> accept free wines, what the hell, come on, ship it us. If you're interested, are cheap. send us an email or message and we will get you the information or address and you can send all the wine you want. And though I have the education of, uh, of a journalist, I'm willing to forget it when I get free wine, so this is a really good wine, mm, <laughs> buy this one. Anyway, I don't know anything about this wine basically. Uh, it's made in the Castile Leon region, in the, should I say, in the middle of Spain, or in the, is it northern Spain more? North middle. Like close to Ribera del Duero. And it's called Malaparte 2008, and uh, no idea what grapes in it. Uh, I suppose it might be Tempranillo. Yeah, I think it's 100% Tempranillo. You know what? I've been missing chances a lot. I was traveling with my wife, but I kind of missed the company of another lady, like Chances, and of course my hairy little friend Arto here. Did, did you know that our cameraman actually has a birthday today? Don't remind me. I have no present for him. <laughs> anyway, I have His some present sort of is a... that he can actually film us. Marketing material, Borekas. The Frutus Marine, sorry for pronouncing the name uh, in a totally wrong way. Uh, anyway, um, I don't have my reading glasses on, so let's just uh, continue. Pour the wine, please. Oh, Por favor. Dark, dark color. See, I practice my Spain, Spanish. So it's a new project uh, been going on since 2007. Uh, if I remember correctly, and micro bodegas, you could call 50,000 bottles in a year, so it's really tight. Just 50,000? Yeah. That is not too much. This is kind of like a berry yogurt, like this fresh berry yogurt. Uh, yeah, I get this sort of uh, oaky sweetness, but it's not like uh, dominating uh, the nose uh, in, in a seriously... Uh, well, it's, it's not a problem for me. Yeah, I think we're, we're about to have some intense wine. I mean, it has a very mm -hmm. present, like leathery style. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's aromas. a strong smell. But let's, yeah, let's give it a whirl. The whip is tight. <laughs> exactly. This is a fucking stupid idea. <laughs> that doesn't really work, man. The grip is tight, though it's uh, 2008, it still has this youthful fruit going on. 
and the acidic uh, structure is rather robust, which is something I prefer. Of course, then again, you should have something to eat to, to, to sort of um, let the wine show its true colors. But I no, think definitely. It's, uh, I mean, this has solid some wine. freshness. I mean, I, I thought that if this would definitely a full body wine, but the freshness of the acidity kind of makes it more easy to drink, more drinkable, which is a very good thing. Uh, and I, I kind of like this one, but like you said, I mean, I would like mm. to have this with, for example, the salami you just ate yeah, yeah. on my table. Cinta Sanesi, the Toscanese uh, salami made uh, out of wild boar. Really good stuff. Uh, the wine is surprisingly quaffable, you know? <laughs> it works this way. Yeah, you, you can always blow. Sorry. <clears throat> the wine is rather quaff quaffable, uh, although it's heavy. Yeah, supposedly because of the freshness of the acidic structure. So I'm gonna give this one thumbs up. I also like this wine. Uh, do you have any idea how much this would cost? Or? No idea. Anyways, I, I enjoy this wine. I want some food. I'm actually quite hungry now. Let's some. cook some. Let's go and uh, eat some leftovers. Yeah, cheers. See you next time.